Hey guys, I'm Mark Scott. Thanks for checking out another voiceover tip. If you're watching this video on YouTube, make sure that you click the subscribe button at the bottom of your screen and you'll never have to miss another one of these videos ever again. And also, if you've got a question that you would like to ask me and maybe have answered in an upcoming tip, my email address is mark at markscottvoiceover.com. This week I want to talk to you about your breakthrough. What do you got to do to get through the tough times? We know that they happen. For a lot of us, particularly in the summer, everybody's taking vacation. There's a lot of other things going on. But what do you do to get your breakthrough? So here's a couple of scenarios for you that you're probably familiar with. Maybe you've been working with some of the pay-to-play sites and you've been submitting auditions all day every day and you're not getting that voiceover job. Maybe you've been sending a lot of direct marketing emails and you're not getting the responses that you want. Maybe you've had some situations where you thought you had the job booked and the client told you that they were seriously considering you, but then at the last minute, it didn't pan out. Whatever the case may be, there are going to be discouraging times in your voiceover business. There's going to be slow times in your voiceover business as well. And sometimes it's really hard to get that breakthrough. The longer that those slow times or those discouraging times go on, the harder it is to find that breakthrough because, obviously, discouragement breeds discouragement. It's easy to start to question whether or not you're doing the right thing, whether or not you're good enough, whether or not this is ever going to work out. Are you ever going to come out on the other side of this? So what do you have to do to get your breakthrough? I was in a situation like this earlier in the week. I've had some, st some stuff going on in my business for a couple of weeks now, some behind-the-scene th uh, things that really were beyond my control and really still are beyond, beyond my control, but they were very discouraging. It was really starting to drag me down, and that feeling of discouragement was starting to impact some of the areas of my voiceover business. I was noticing that I was feeling more discouraged when I was heading into the studio in the morning to work on jobs or auditions or marketing, and I didn't want to feel that way anymore. I needed to do something to break the cycle. Now, those of you that are familiar with me, you know that I talk about goals an awful lot. I'm a huge fan of goals, having goals and setting goals, and not just goals for your business, but personal goals as well. And this is what I did to get my breakthrough. I looked at some of my personal goals, some of the things that I had written down that I wanted to accomplish this year, and I tried to figure out if I could take any of those goals and convert them into a win. Basically, take that goal, make it happen, give myself the win, and ultimately boost myself, my confidence, my esteem, and get my breakthrough. One of the goals that I had written down this year was that I wanted to run 10 kilometers in under 60 minutes. Now, I am not an athlete by any stretch of the imagination. You're looking at a t-ball dropout right here. I did some track and field in high school, my knees gave out, I never ran again. Last year, I needed an outlet, so just for the fun of it, I started running casually and doing about 5K a night, maybe two, three, four times a week, depending on my schedule. So this year, I decided that a good goal was going to be to up that and try to get 10K in in under 60 minutes. Now, this past week, again, having some frustration, feeling discouraged, and looking for an outlet as well as a win, I decided that that was the goal that I was going to accomplish. So I went out for a run. And about one or two kilometers in, I wasn't really thinking that tonight was going to be the night that I was going to do 10K, but by about the third or fourth kilometer, I had decided that it didn't matter what happened. I was going to do my 10K tonight, my first 10K ever, and I was going to do it in under 60 minutes. I had a drive and a determination that came from a desire to overcome all of the discouragement that had been going on in my business. And you know what happened? I did my first ever 10K in 54 minutes in 14 seconds. Not setting any world record times by any stretch of the imagination, but that's not the point. The point was that I took that goal, I made it happen, I scored the win, and I overcame all of the discouragement that had been setting into my life as a result of some things that were going on behind the scenes in my business. I needed that victory to change my attitude. I needed that victory to get me back on top. I needed that win. Now, are some of those situations that were discouraging me before still going on? Absolutely they are. But my attitude has changed and that change in my attitude is now allowing me to approach all the other areas of my voiceover business with a newfound confidence. I'm feeling more confident when I'm walking into the studio in the morning. I'm feeling more confident when I'm recording those jobs now. I'm feeling more confident when I'm doing my marketing. I got my win. I got my breakthrough. I overcame the discouragement. I didn't let it defeat me. 
If you are not setting goals in your life, I'm going to tell you right now, it is one of the most important things that you can do for yourself and your business. You need big goals. You need medium goals. You need small goals. You need goals that will give you the opportunity to get that win when you need it so that you can create your own breakthrough. Hey guys, so what about you? Do you use goals to get you through to success in your voiceover business and in your personal life as well? Have you ever used your goals to help you get to a breakthrough? I'd love to hear your thoughts on the subject. Leave it in the comments below. We'll get a dialogue going. Don't forget to like the video and share the video with your network. And we can connect as well. Facebook, Twitter, I'm there. Let's talk on social media. Have you got a question that you would like to have answered in an upcoming video? Get in touch with me through my website at markscottvoiceover.com. And of course, if you're looking for free voiceover advice delivered to your inbox on a regular basis, you can subscribe to my voiceover newsletter at newsletter.markscottvoiceover.com.